What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and of course Film Red it seems like is coming to a close right now, and we're really wondering where are they going from here, are they going to go back to Wano, are they going to do something completely different, we just didn't really have any good idea or any good inclinations as to where they would be heading next in One Piece Treasure Cruise, however with this latest tweet that came out at news time today, we have a little bit of an idea as to what we should be expecting expecting moving forward into the month of October. Another thing that's kind of interesting as well is that typically in October, Treasure Cruiser likes to release Halloween themed characters. And from what we've seen thus far, including the treasure map silhouette, which doesn't seemingly have any Halloween themes on it, or from what we can see with this particular post, it seems like Halloween characters are not going to be arriving, at least not yet. Uh, I think it would be a pretty good idea for them to do that maybe when Halloween is actually coming out at the end of October leading into November. Um, also something minor as well to just discuss as well is that during mid-November typically is the introduction of the 0.5 year anniversary or the 0.5 year anniversary. So uh, year, this is current year 8 I think it is. Year 8 anniversary so it's the 8.5 anniversary and last year on japan before the merge happened with global uh they actually released superclass dofi and superclass katakuri obviously with the introduction of that mechanic of superclass so we may be expecting a relatively big sugo fest in mid-november but this is what we have to look forward to right now upcoming sugo fest character information is here tap on the image and check it out now unfortunately there really isn't any information here it just kind of lets us know as a hint what we should be expecting with the new characters. Now, there are four Sugo Fest exclusive characters apparently going to be arriving. We don't know as to the theming and how they're going to be integrated, but we'll discuss that as we go along. The first image is this one. Now, immediately, the first thing I saw was this, and I, uh, the bottom part of the image, and I thought it was going to be Apu, and I think a lot of people probably thought of that. And then when I saw the top, it didn't really make a lot of sense to be Apu, and it didn't really click at first, but we'll come back to it. The next one is this, and the first thing, obviously, that comes to mind is Sakazuki, or Akainu. Then you have this image, and the first one that came to mind for me was Borsalino, or Kizaru, and then you have this one with the ice, and after you seeing the ice and the, and the magma, and then you see that third image with the light it, it, it makes sense what's going on here so you have all three admirals in or the original admirals you have to say this is the pre time skip set of uh, of admirals with kuzan borsalino sakazuki and then you have this which obviously when you know the theming of the other three this has to be sengoku this is actually his beard which is pretty cool uh, so that's his beard and this is his uh, buddha form uh, afro of course so these are the upcoming sugo fest exclusive characters now of course people are going to say does that mean that we're having four sugo fest exclusive characters and i mean that is a possibility but i hope that they don't go down that route that would be kind of tough but we'll talk more about it as we go along obviously seeing all of these characters receive sugo fest exclusives is big and i think none more bigger than sengoku of course he was the fourth sugo fest exclusive character to be in the game and the fact now that he is finally getting a new rendition after such a long time i am so pumped for this out of all of the sugo fest exclusives in this batch sengoku is the one i'm most intrigued about and what they plan to do with this character just going off of the image itself it is interesting that they have his beard and then they have the golden buddha afro potentially this could be a character that starts as his base form and he can transform into the buddha in the middle of the quest something along those lines would be awesome to see but i mean the original sengoku he had highs and he definitely has lows uh, and was considered to be one of the most useful legends um, after that very slight buff to his captain ability back in the day where they originally um, would only boost cost 29 or lower and then they added the effect of boosting himself of a cost of 54 so they really buffed this character back in the day and he became essentially one of the most useful legends in the game but of course, as time progressed, uh, characters got more powerful and this guy was easily power crept. But the other characters receiving the legends, the admirals, of course, and I think uh, an another one I'm really looking forward to is Borsalino because Kuzan and Sakazuki receive so much love in the game. I'm really excited to see what they have planned for Borsalino. Interesting though, that Borsalino just received a Pirate Rumble Rare Recruit character. So if they introduce this character into the game that is focusing on boosting shooters once again, it is gonna have overlap and look, 
like we've seen with the film Red Celebration, they don't really mind with overlap as we had the Pirate Rumble rare recruit Usopp come out, a shooter boosting character, and then you had Usopp and Yasopp legend come out also boosting shooters so there was obviously overlap and look even though we would like to say that that's not going to happen there's a good chance that is going to happen and if Borsalino aims to boost shooters in rumble then you have that obvious issue there but because you have all of these characters releasing at once there is obviously the uh, discussion with Sakazuki obviously getting his character and also Kuzan so uh, I'm, I'm really happy that we are getting this as a new theming of batch or, or theming of events moving forward because we've been stuck in Wano for essentially the the whole year and I think some people were really pissed off that we're going back to Marineford but I, I was just saying like we have more Wano legends now than everything in Marineford I'm pretty sure we have more Wano legends than everything in Marineford right now so I'm completely okay with going back to Marineford checking out that for a month and then potentially for New Year's going back to Wano which is a pretty good high likelihood of uh, we don't know what's going to be New Year's at this point but uh, another thing as well is that people have been throwing out the theory of what if the three admirals of Borsalino, Sakazuki, and Kuzan are actually all together in one character. And there are plenty of images here that showcase that, that they could all be all together. The shout out to Godot for, for building this image here. And he actually built this quite a while ago, but this is just really cool stuff. What if we have all three admirals in one character? Like I could already imagine this as being the five star artwork. Maybe this with like, you could see a little bit of Luffy on the six star artwork would be so badass. Um, and I could definitely see it happening. So what if that is the case? What if all three of these guys are actually all together in one character? And then you have Sengoku as a separate character that is one theory going around however there is another theory that what if they do a batch somewhat similar to the toby robo now that i think this would probably be the worst case scenario i would hope that they don't go down this route because i mean they're announcing four characters surely they're not going to have a sugo fest with four legends on it for a regular batch of, like sugo fest that would just be really bizarre at least to me that would really wouldn't make a lot of sense but with the way that this batch was constructed, all of them were super class powerhouse, which was very weird. But you had the, the super tandems. They all had super tandems that really required each other. If you had all three of them on your crew, you could basically activate whichever super tandem that you want. And each of them provided different attack boosts to different colors. And they also get rid of enemy defensive effects. So if they do go down that route in particular, I would actually be okay with that if all of them were relating to shooters because shooters need so much help right now that if they're just going to go, all right, we're going to go all in on these shooter characters, give them a, a lot of buffs with all of these admirals, that would be pretty insane, especially with the recent release of Usopp and Yasopp and the recent release of Beckman and Lucky Room. We all know how good Beckman and Lucky Room are. Absolutely phenomenal. So if they receive buffs to shooters, I would be completely okay with that. But I think it's more more likely that all three of them are probably going to be color-based characters that's uh, that's probably where i'm leaning towards right now but it really comes down to are these characters going to be separate are they all going to be together in one character and we are getting sengoku here but we haven't got a new legend garp another relatively old sugo fest exclusive and i think that garp definitely deserves a new rendition as well so hopefully we, we will see something like that in the future too now this obviously is really exciting seeing these new characters but what about older characters receiving buffs because we know that at the start of each batch there should be a new batch of level limit breaks so what i would really love to see is a level limit break for luffy and ace because if they're going back to marine ford it would only make sense if they give this character a level limit break so this character is obviously the first dual unit in the game free spirit captain really really poor you know unit right now obviously in today's day and age this character is terrible but with the uh with the introduction of level limit break this character can become absolutely insane now we know that at this point essentially like dual units are never going to receive a six plus and people are going to say oh but they could do it but the thing is right dual units have been out for so long if they were going to give them a super evolution they would have already had one right it does doesn't make sense for them to give them one out of the blue right now in my opinion the way that it's going to work is that these characters are never super evolving but i think that it's a pretty fair statement to say that they could receive level limit breaks because it really wouldn't make sense if dual units could never be buffed in the future i think level limit break is that way to give them a buff they haven't done it yet for a dual unit would love to see it happen and if they're going to go back to marine ford this would be the perfect opportunity to do it we've been waiting for it for so long 
hopefully it's time. But we also need to talk about a new super evolution. And I think that none other than V2 Shanks makes the most sense here. They could have this guy. You can see the artwork already right now is him arriving at Marine Ford, ending the war. And I think that would be a great way to end the celebration right before the uh, 0.5 anniversary to have Shanks super evolve, end the war. He comes in, he's going to be a beast. This guy with level limit break super evolution is probably going to be uh, one of the top legends in the game. I could easily see him being a tier zero, tier one style legend with the right buffs. So I would really love to see these two characters get their buffs that they really deserve, right? But uh, I'm really excited to see what they have planned for this. Um, we don't know when this data download is going to hit. We should expect uh, probably, uh, you know, more icons and a data download to be coming within the next two days or so so two to three days i would expect should be arriving before the end of the month really excited for this one though let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section regarding you know sugo fest exclusives and goku sakazuki borsalino and kuzan they got some really cool stuff on here i'm really excited to see what they're going to do with these characters are they going to be super tandem are they going to be all three together are they going to be super class are they going to be super class shooters are they all, all going to be different super types but you would still want them to work together because they're all going to be releasing together right i don't know there's lots of different ways they could go about it hopefully you guys enjoyed it though if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video.